Hey everybody, Christmas here, back again with Fell Seal. We are at the final stage of the Ancient Path, at the Ancient Tomb. It's a poultry that predates the human race. Let's find out what lies within. I'm finally back to having some uh, dialogue of some sort, it seems. Is that you, Corda? What are you doing in here? Hmm? Oh, visitors! How delightful! Captain Kyrie, was it? As for what I'm doing here, research, of course, the scientific accumulation of knowledge and wisdom. This is certainly a weird location for your research. Is it safe in here? We're following up on rumors of undead and demons plaguing the area. Rumors which have already proven to be accurate. I thought myself safe here before, but this news is troubling. Not to worry, we can get you out of here safely if you wish. The remnants of the council will be glad to hear you're alive and well. No, no, that simply won't do. I'm in the midst of my studies. A breakthrough, possibly several breakthroughs, are imminent. With Primus' silly schemes setting our immortal status at risk, I had to find another source of eternal life. Hmm? I've been viewing potent necromancy with the last strands of dark energy I harbor as an immortal. Or I've been weaving potent necromancy, rather. And in combination with the ancient knowledge stored in this Bazil tomb, true mortality is now finally within reach. I see... I need to create another handful of undead and summon a few more demons to fuse their energy. Then a few more tasks, but I must say it's looking positively promising. I gather you're the one responsible for the undead and demons attacking the nearby town? Hmm? I don't know anything about that. I just summon them from my experiments. What they do with themselves afterward is really none of my affair. How callous. Callous? How so? My research is far more important than, well, whatever's happening out there with my discarded creatures. Now, while it's a delight to have visitors, visitors after so long, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You're starting to bore me, and I have work to do. So much work. I'm sorry, Corda, but I can't let you continue with these experiments. It seems we actually agree on something after all. I wasn't really going to let you walk out of here, you know? A whole group of high-quality specimens? And now seems like a good time to test my new powers, shall we? All right, then we get to fight another mortal. We just have to defeat Quarta himself. Oh, and we've got a, some stuff blocking the way. Good to know. She'll be here. He can be over here since he's not a teleporter. Teleporter. Uh, teleporter, but you can go here. Not a teleporter. Okay. And is a teleporter, but... Meow. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Proceed with this. We don't get an extra person for this. I mean, he can jump down. So that's good. And can he actually jump all the way down? Yes, he can, but I don't really want to sleep. Mm, she might be able to do it anyways. Alright, let's have him pop over here. And... Do we try to attack this, take this thing down? Yeah, I think it's going to be a problem, so... Well, let's go that route. Contrary to my initial intentions. We're going to do our best to hammer this down. I do wish I could access my uh, holy shots. Uh, thunder is best, which is what we're using. Crits are also quite nice. Okay, good, good chunk of damage there. The slow's not great. We prefer not to be slowed. Um, let's see.
I think we'd be better off doing the one for all here. Probably. And I think that's actually a pretty good position for it. Right, good. He didn't block the uh, one of my possible attack spots in front, front so that's good. From down here, maybe that gets us a side shot. That looks pretty good. I mean, obviously I like more damage, but... And I'd also like to be not be slowed. Also, why did... Okay, there it is. Starting to worry that we weren't getting our one for all off. Uh, let's put her back to the wall, I think. Oh, that's a... Really impressive range. Mummified Immortal. Okay. That is good to be aware of. I also note it seems like we'll be getting... Or they'll be getting in reinforcements, rather. Okay, let's see. Thunderbolt was good. That's not really worth it. What are you? 353... Now, what are your weaknesses? You take advantage of the water and fire. 398. Four twenty four. That's our best bet. If we can get some crits, maybe? I don't think that's enough of a crit. But that should finish things off. Yes, it will. Okay. And he can get up here. That's not the greatest. They're looking a bit rough. The haste is nice, though. Alright, so... Looking at things... 40... Let's see what a Holy Locust looks like. No, I, honestly, I think this is actually going to be a good way to go. Take it down. We miss a chance of getting any nice big booms on it, but I think I can deal with that. Let's see, boost edge. I'm guessing water bolt, maybe? Nope, fire bolt would have been way to go. Let's see how this performs, and also we've got to worry about reinforcements. Alright, counterattack's not great. Crit there. Ooh, and a double crit. Oh, interesting. You can counterattack off of the uh, one for all. Alright, yeah, so they are in fact getting reinforcements. Not super often. Yeah, let's go ahead and finish you off. Seems great. Seems less great. We'll have him pop over here. And... Not quite enough there. 115, that will do the job. Oh. No, it won't. I should have went all out on that one. My bad. Excuse me, what? Oh... Wait, what? So, did he change something into that? Or... Also, really annoying. Not only did uh, not getting the full damage out of that mean we didn't get a cleave, but it also meant that we did not get a... Ooh, wow, this is really far, and I don't really want to do it this far. So what I'm actually going to do is... What? I cannot revive him. Okay, that is a thing to know. Um...
Let's quicken him, I guess, because he's farthest ahead in initiative order. Or what movement she can over here. Alright, so... Oh, and he's got a Mystic Shield on top of everything else. Um... I don't think now's the time to... Maybe attack him. No, let's attack... Hmm... Well, you know what? Let's hit him. We get some damage in on him. Yeah, see, the double shot does help for that, or the dual wield, brother. And he's going to start coming up this way. That's okay. Not a greatest position, but... Can a Holy Bolt get some more useful? I mean, that's a nice bit of damage, honestly. Alright, so she's gonna... No, I thought she's gonna skycheck somebody. Mm, muting her. That's, that's nasty. She steps forward. Should get me close enough. 38. Mm, give me a crit. Come on, crit me. No, not, don't crit me. Give me a crit. Shame, but... Oh, good lord. They are just going to positively flood in, aren't they? Pushing that way so I can pop in here. Presumably kill the big thing. Yep, fairly easily. So that's one less thing. And thanks to the cleave, we still get to pop over here. And I'm guessing... Focus Rage gives a 362. I think I'm pretty good with that. We basically got 155 extra damage off that. Good. Now, unfortunately, get things like the Rally Howl there. Now he's going to get MP on his turn, so meaning he'll be in a position to start getting uh, the Mystic Shield again and all kinds of annoying things. It's going to bring him down here. That pretty much puts him fairly safe. So... Oh, I can't stand on top of this one. But I can pop over here. Now, I might not be able to reach with my Quicken. Let's see. Oh, she's muted. Right. So we definitely have to fix that. There's an argument, I believe, for throwing rocks. Just to trigger the one for all. Oh, that missed, but I think honestly getting her unmuted is a lot more of a major thing. All right, I think he can, she can attack from here. Fused edge. What do we think? Uh, go out all out on a pulsar. Yeah, it should be fine. One hit takes the MP away, then we still get the pulsar for some amount of damage. And the one for all should trigger. I mean, it's not a huge amount of damage, but it is damage, right? Should have had her face to the... Put her back to the wall there. He doesn't do any good. I think I'll put him on the stairs. It's a good place for ranged people. Good. Okay, I don't like grabbing a soul. That does not sound good for me. Eh, not terrible. So did that use his MP up? That, that is the real question. Please stop hitting her. Oh, come on. She's like... 
10 feet above her head. That should not have dealt damage there. Okay, so we're about to lose our one for all. So let's get as much out of it as we can. Why does he get so many... Oh, no, that's not how many EP he has. There's so much damage of it I would have done if he'd had that much. Alright, he goes. He's got... You know what? He's got a fair bit of MP, so we're going to keep using it for a one for all. I think it's... It gets him multiple sets of attacks. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, Stolfolk, excuse me. That is my potion. And for taking it from me, I'm going to beat you in the face repeatedly. Okay, so. Just focus rage here. 292, that is a kill, and that wins us this fight. There's the Dark Core. Sure, I could have taken some other things down, but there's a lot of them, and they keep coming. I'm so pleased to have done as well as we did. The actual items, a lot of cores and crystals and such. Okay, it's... Right, of course, I can keep coming back here to... Yeah, just do fights. All right. And that is it for the Ancient Path. I'm going to go ahead and save right here. Just in case it's one of those things where just someone's just moving. Sets things off. And I'm going to check a few places where that may have triggered something. Or maybe it's just absolutely nothing. First, we'll head towards the Council Ship. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, Kyrie, good to see you. Quintus, I'm glad to see you're doing better. Tertia has been doting over me like a vingal pup. But with every other mortal dead and Quarta vanished from the face of Tiora, I'm already growing tired again. In any event, you're not here to listen to the complaints of an old man. What can I help you with, Kyrie? We've recovered the medallion. Hmm, should have done this before. That's the first good news I've heard in days. Containing the chaos in the city has been... Oh, but never mind that. You must visit the Kawas and hope that enough of their ancient lore survives to tell us how to once again imprison them all. We've met with them already. They told us how to handle the beast. Ah, excellent. There's something else you needed. Time is of the essence. Yes, actually. I wanted to ask you about Sylvia. Ah, your old mentor, Sylvia. I'm not surprised you have questions. Rafe said the Council sent her on a suicide mission, deliberately, in order to be rid of her. Is that true, Quintus? Hmm. It is true. I'm sorry, Kyrie. I did what I could, but I was unable to sway the Council. Sylvia had been vocal about certain immortals abusing, abusing their authority. I'm sure you can guess which ones. The Council feared her popularity. If she were to reveal what she knew, it would bring disorder, even call her rule into question. I did not see it that way at all. Her loyalty was unquestionable, but I couldn't convince them. It was a great shame. But you went along with her plan. Send her to die on a hopeless assignment. Hmm. You know the protocols of the Council. My vote weighed no more nor less than any other. At least it was not entirely in vain. Council's more troublesome elements were reined in for a time, in order to preclude any other such unfortunate compromises. It's all Sylvia's life amounted to in the end, an unfortunate compromise for the Council? Now that's not what... I need to think on this. Thank you for your time, Quintus. All right. Should have done that sooner. Oh, I'm very disappointed in the council's working, so we deserve better than this. I think a short trip to where I grew up will help clear my head. Uh, where'd you grow up? Is it going to be nice and conveniently read up for me? I don't know where she grew up. It, I'm sure it told us before, but... Okay, not there. How about Gelly? Oh, wait, no, I remember his... Mm. You're gonna save in case this turns into a fight. If it is, I'll end up just uh, 
reloading from here or something. Alright, anyways, let's see. If it's just story stuff, though, I don't see any reason not to go ahead and include it here. There we go. Well, this is just, uh... Spooky? I know some of the Immortals have dubious morals. But for the Council to vote for Sylvia's death simply because she revealed some uncomfortable truths? And we work for the Council. Doesn't that make us complicit? Who goes there? Show yourself. Just us, Kyrie, and our guilty conscience. Rainer, you followed me. As unquestioning servants of the Council, Sylvia's death may as well have been our doing. I don't think I understand what he's saying. So you were responsible for my mother's death, Kyrie? Anadine, you too? Ever do you talk of law and justice? But it turns out you were just as bad, bad as the worst of the immortals. Worse for being their lackey. No, that's not true. I didn't... Didn't you? The burden of all these responsibilities is too heavy for us to bear. Maybe it's time to rest. Let someone else take care of it, before we make it worse. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and back onto this now. Because I can kind of tell what is happening. This is definitely a fight. And I'm just going to... Whoops. Push the wrong button. Just load right back out of it. I might even cut that. Alright, yep. Yeah. So, uh, when I reloaded the save, we've got uh, what looks like to be an interesting fight over here. I should have noticed by the fact that it has the question marks on the uh, patrol. That was what, in fact, the case. But, that is my mistake. Anyways, we will be back for that next episode, so I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and let me know what you think in the comments. But, uh, until next time, catch you later.